Princess Royal moves slowly around the track and uh, moving quite well I must say I'm quite happy with this 50 plus year old locomotive and it's nice to see it get through these Pico points and I guess because it may have the sort of finer wheels it makes it easier In the meantime, I'd like to show you these two uh, Lima uh, shunters. Now I got these many years ago, picked them up at, at a show, wasn't really sure because I didn't have a lot of knowledge about this stuff at the time and I wasn't really sure what it was but it did say British Railways on it on the side, um, which has since been removed and this one here I spray painted uh, grey thinking okay well maybe I'll paint this green uh, make it look more like a British Railways uh, diesel shunter so I'm, I'm just going to try and demonstrate to you bring this uh, princess back As you can see, the, the grey primer uh, really pulls out the detail and I'll be able to highlight uh, those. So just check that it's on the track correctly and then we'll see what she can do. Well, that's not bad. Probably hasn't been run in a number of years, I would guess. A little bit noisy, but uh, really, who cares? Um, I'm not a rivet counter, I just like running trains and different trains, so I thought this is a nice addition. And I'll try and slow it down a little bit. So that's run off my little controller here. And that's quite impressive. Uh, for an older locomotive like that, that's not run in a number of years. And uh, a Lima product always found that they ran okay. So maybe hesitates a little bit at the odd point. But yeah. So I guess it has its limits like every other locomotive. We'll see if it can pull something. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't have any couplings. Now, this one does, but I don't think it, it's in working order. No, no sound, no noise. It's not going anywhere. Anyway, before you walk past this little thing at the next uh, toy, uh, model railway show they managed to get to, who knows when that will be, um, it's worthwhile picking it up for whatever fair and reasonable price you can get it for um, you know, I might add some uh, glass there or perspex and paint the buffers and maybe paint this in in green the next time you see it anyway, I thought you'd, you'd enjoy seeing that So the armature is pretty dirty as you can see and also uh, 
where the brushes go. So I'm going to try and see what I can do with this and see if I can get it running. So I think these are the brushes. I haven't seen uh, brushes like this before, but I guess this is a is a Lima style, and they just sort of appeared there, must have fallen out. So they look in fairly good shape. I'll just clean up the ends and see how that goes. So cleaning these out, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. I'll just keep going at that until I get it cleaned up. So I can push quite easily, um, the only problem is that I don't have a coupling on it and that's why it's getting caught up there. Uh, this other motor is kind of locked up. I can't get the, the cog or wheels to turn something I'll need to do some further investigation on. But in the meantime, there you go. Nice little Lima shunter. Well, as you can see, they're not exactly uh, like something you might find on a British Railway uh, yard, but they don't look that far out of place. And with a, a touch of paint, a couple of little extras like handrail and maybe painting the horn, it will fit right in. And it runs quite smoothly. It can haul a number of uh, wagons, as you can see here. And although it's a little bit noisy, I don't think it would take much to uh, fix that up. That would probably be an easy solution. Anyway, for $15, $20, whatever it might be, it's a bit of a bargain, so keep an eye out for this at the next Royal Railway Show. I've made an attempt at painting uh, the body of the shunter. Um, However, it didn't uh, turn out too well, so what I did was I, I put it into a container filled with 99.9% .9 alcohol for 24 hours and now I'm scrubbing it uh, with a toothbrush and, and, and an old paintbrush. So it's coming off and uh, once I get it off and dried out, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a better attempt at respraying it. We'll see how it turns out. Well we've gone through the process of uh, steeping the body in 99.9% .9 alcohol and then scrubbing off uh, the paint that I'd put on there previously and the other base coat that was already on there. And the following day, which was today, I've uh, resprayed it with a base coat of grey, let that dry out, and then I've gone back in and uh, given it a coat uh, with this black gloss or semi gloss. No. Not really sure if that's the effect that I want, but. I think it looks not bad. Now the other thing is that I have to get this motor running. It, I 
took it apart, cleaned it, and the wheels wouldn't turn, but there's every possibility that his double O bill points out uh, over there in Scotland um, that the gears in there may have the remains of uh, the moulding and that could be creating an issue. So I'll go through the process of breaking this down, trying to clean it up again and addressing those points that Bill points out on on his Deltic that he uh, cleaned up earlier. Anyway, uh, once again, uh, if you go to a model railway show and you see one of these sitting in a stall, don't hesitate to buy it for, you know, a reasonably cheap price. Um, you can add in some handrails, do different things to it to improve how it looks. I might even paint the horns and uh, yeah, have a go at it. Well, I very much hope that you've enjoyed this uh, little intro to the, uh, I guess it's a European Lima a shunter which you should not walk past when you go to a model railway show uh, there's lots that can be accomplished uh, just by giving it a coat of paint and it would look good on any layout uh, thanks for dropping by please remember to, to subscribe give me the big thumbs up and we'll see you next time in the meantime check out uh, the videos that you see here uh, on the screen bye for now